Hey guys, it's Waverly again. Um, yesterday I didn't upload a video, so that's why I'm uploading two today. And so I'm just going to show you how I make my own lip gloss, lipstick, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't really wear this look often, but I, I will sometimes wear it if I'm getting dressed up. So what you'll need is three paint brushes or makeup appliers. Um, one is like that. I don't know if you can see these. That. So, those are your three makeup brushes, or paint brushes. Um, then I use some blush. This is Maybelline Mineral Powder. It just comes in a little jar like this. Um, also some petroleum jelly or Vaseline. I did some research and it's actually good for your lips because it just it's moisturizes them and it's not bad at all for you. Um, I, ooh, I also like to use a little bit of actual lip gloss. This is, I don't actually know where this is from. I think I got it for my birthday last year. But that is what it looks like. It's just pink and sparkly. And I also like to use some lipstick as well, just because it's a little bit harder, so it will harden up your thing. This is by Revlon, and the color is Frost 580. I don't really know if you can see that. Oh, and lastly, you also will need a paper plate just to mix your mixture on. So, first, what you have to do... Oh, let me put this down. What you have to do is you take the paper plate and then you just, whoa, you take the petroleum jelly and take your biggest brush and just scoop out as much that you feel is needed. So it really depends on how much product you want to make. I think that this is a good amount because I will probably be saving this and using it for later. So just push it on there and try to get the most off as you can. You can't really see that. I don't know if you can or not. But that's how much I put on the plate. Then I like to put on the blush. It just it puts a little bit more pink in. So it just I like to have my lips really pink, so I put about that much on. Then you take your lip gloss. This I don't really use that often, just because I have some others that I prefer. And so you just drizzle as much on as you want of that. So it looks like that. Then for the lipstick, you just kind of have to smush it on there so it looks like that. And you want to use a lipstick that you don't really care if it messes up. This one is old because I used it so much so there's not really that much left. So I don't really care. Then. Um, Again, you take your biggest brush and you just mix that all around. So I'm really just, I'm going for like a more rose color, like a deep rose, just because it matches my skin type a little better because I'm pale and darker colors don't really look that great on me. And so you just have to mix this all around. Um, I think actually I should have used a bit, whoo, just dropped it. Okay, I think actually I should have used a bit more petroleum jelly, and since I didn't bring a spoon or a bigger brush, I'm just going to use one of my smaller brushes to just scoop it out, because 
If I had used the big brush again, it would have ruined the Vaseline and then it wouldn't have been good for anything else except for making this. So then you can just mix it around. You really want to make sure that there's not any more, you want to make it look like paint almost and you want to make sure that there is no more powder anywhere and that it's all evenly distributed. So just mix that up. Then I like to take the tilted brush. It looks like this. I don't really know if you can see that. It, it looks like that. And this is just a normal paintbrush. It's three over eight. Okay, I don't really think that you can see that. But I'll try. So to not be wasteful, I take this, the little brush, and I just wipe off some of the bigger ones. This is so healthy for your lips. It's really good. Um I'm not using a mirror. I'm just oh I'm just using a webcam. So it's probably going to be uneven. And everything is backwards too. So I can't really see what I'm doing. But as you can see, I mean, it looks natural, a little brighter. Um, I'm going to get toilet paper. I will be right back. I just, I want, I need to blot this. So tissues work probably a bit better because they're stronger. Just you fold it in half and just bite it. I'm kind of in a rush at the moment because I don't really don't want this video to exceed 10 minutes. And I bet you just looked at how long this is, didn't you? Um, it's just really important that you follow all these steps because if you don't, then it just might not come out the way you wanted it to. Um, this is really good for parties. And a good optional step would be to take a, maybe a brown lip liner, perhaps. Because it just, it'll make it look more brown. Um, to make this darker, obviously, maybe use darker lip glosses. Whoa. <laughs> lip glosses, um, stuff like that, blush, um, the petroleum jelly is clear, so that obviously you can't get any darker, actually, yeah, I don't think it comes in darker, at least, when you're applying this, just make sure that you really get in there, like, you really have to get in there, or else it just looks really weird. And don't forget your corners because that's kind of a, well, that's kind of a pet peeve for me. Your corners. Again, I'm not using a mirror, and this is all backwards, so it's rather hard for me to do this. Um, you can apply it on a lot or a little, and it all depends on you. I don't really like it when my lips are heavy, but some people like that look. And, I mean, if it looks good, then I think that it's worth it. Um, just tastes like cupcakes, so it's it's not really edible, I would say. But if you eat it, you won't, like, die. And I just, I really think that this looks, this is a really good look for um, pretty much everybody. Like, um... What I'm doing right now is I'm making my lips look really plump and just really nice. Oh, my cat's here. They're just really plump and nice. And I feel that that's really important for girls to have these days. I mean, thin lips are always good too. But plump ones, they're just, they're so kissable. See, I mean... 
doesn't this look great? I mean, I always like to start out like trying to get on task, but then plump lips are just, they're so beautiful. Hey, get away. Right, don't these look plump? Yeah. At this point, I just asked my brother. At this point, you can use the bigger brush because it's just, it's so much more beautiful. And I don't know, like, if you've ever seen these people, like, on TV shows and stuff, but they like to use lip liner a lot because it makes your lips look big because that's, that's what's considered beautiful. And I'm not saying that if you have thin lips that you are ugly or anything. I just think that this is really good, especially if you have thin lips because it just, it makes it look so much more plump and I mean you can't even tell that I'm wearing anything I mean you just it kinda does look like I am just because my face typically isn't this pink just because of my lips aren't actually this color but nobody's are and so it just looks like I'm wearing everyday natural lip gloss and this just it looks so beautiful and you just really, even though that you want it to be like really plump, you have to make sure that you leave a little chin area right here. That way it doesn't look like a red beard and it just, it looks like really plump lips. And you want to be like really plump, like Angelina Jolie, like so big that all the guys are just like, whoa. Nice. So just... Um, well, that just got in my hair. You, when you're doing this, you might want to put your hair back and wait for it to dry. Um, a good way for it to dry is to actually add some more blush. This is over 10 minutes, but at this point, I don't really care. Just, you can use that much. That's a perfect amount. And you just have to mix this in a lot. Just, just like that. Um, I don't use this blush a lot unless I'm doing this. This just really, it makes it dry a lot faster. Because if you want these plump, why are you looking at me? Yeah, sometimes it gets in your teeth too. But it doesn't really matter. And this, if you do it dark enough, it makes your teeth just look really, really white. Which is also attractive to the male species. So you just apply this all over your face and it makes it really soft and moisturized get off get away from me sorry that was my Nisio. well so you just it's really important that you just put this all over your lips and the plumper you want them the, the more beautiful um i suggest only going as far as i did because you still have this chin skin area and so it still looks like their lips. And you still have a little bit of this nose area. I wear my glasses, if you saw my secrets video. And so it's really easy to tell where to stop. And so if you don't wear glasses, I suggest going out and getting a pair. Even if it's just for this. Even if you don't like the way they look. I personally do. So... Um, you do still want to block. Can you go get me more tissues? Yeah. You still want to block. It just, that way, it, it just makes it look so much more natural if you just block this. And it will come out, like, yes. a lot. These are the last two. Thank you. It will come out a lot like this. But that's just so beautiful, okay? You just, you really, really need the plumper lips. Um, it does smear, so it doesn't exactly always come out perfect, but a little bit of smearing, that will definitely do the trick. Like, already, I didn't use soap or water or anything, and it already just came yeah. off so much. This, this is just so beautiful, and I think that this is a really good way to do your makeup. Again, I don't use it every day, but if I'm going out to, like, a wedding is somewhere fancy then this is a really good look and especially if I'm gonna be like seeing 
long lost relatives. I just want them to think that I'm really pretty. So, again, try not to get it in your hair. I failed at this, as always. That's my cat over there. And my brother. Anyway, so, I hope you have a really nice day, and I hope you enjoyed watching this. Bye!